What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Chef for Fano coming at you live, uncut, unfiltered, unedited, with another food review. So this morning, I got up early because uh, I wanted to go try this place that's in Virginia Beach. It's a locally owned restaurant. Um, it's called uh, Bobo's Fine Chicken. Um my, one of my old friends, he works there, and he uh, recommended that uh, I should come try them. So uh, I was like, well, I, I looked at their menu, and they do breakfast breakfast items. So I was like, okay, well, let me go check this out. So this place, they serve breakfast from 6.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m., uh, but it's drive through only, uh, Tuesday through Saturday. And then lunch and dinner from 10.30 to 9, Monday through Saturday. And I'm assuming that the dining room will be open then. And they're closed on Sundays, like Chick-fil-A. So, all right. Well, first thing I got was called a Bobo Chino. This is, uh, I think it's iced coffee blended with homemade ice cream. So, top with um, whipped cream. Let's give it a shot. I mean, it's it. I mean, it's smooth. It's a little sweet, not too sweet. I mean, it's good, but I mean, there's nothing that, you know, pops, goes wow. But other than that, it's good. So, all right. So this is an order of the cheese grits. Let's give this a try. Oh, there's a bit of a skin on the cheese grits. So, fork. Let's give this a shot. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bit of a skin on the grits. All right. They're stone ground grits. You can tell. Oh no, there's lumps in the grits. Ah, that's a lump of grits. And they're seasoned with, um, it looks like they're seasoned with um, butter. Because you can see the grease in the grits. Like it's got a bit of a sheen. I don't taste any like bacon or anything, so that's good. So people that don't like bacon or can't have bacon. As I dribble myself. I'm such a slob. But yeah, that's a lump of grits. I need some salt. I wonder if they put any seasoning in here. Mm. No. But yeah, these grits, they're not creamy like I th like they like they should be, especially with the uh, the grit skin. See that? It's a grit skin. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, you can definitely tell there's cheddar in there. It doesn't look like it, but there is. You can tell, you can taste the cheddar. Okay, moving on. My last video was a little too long, so I heard people say, oh, it's too long, it's too long. So, okay, I'm going to try to make it faster. All right, so these are their breakfast fries. Uh oh, I almost dropped it. They look like they're coated with something. Interesting.
Yo, that tastes like they're it's coated in like a fried chicken batter. That's different. And those are hand cut potatoes. So this is called Bobo sauce. Um, not sure what it is. It looks like it's got some type of it's a it's pinkish pinkish color. Oh, it smells like horseradish. Interesting. Yeah, there's definitely some horseradish in there. Interesting. But yeah, I think these are hand cut potatoes. Yeah, you can tell that they're hand cut potatoes. Um and then this is like a tempura batter. I wonder if this is like the same batter that they use for their fried chicken. Mm. This sauce is bomb. The potatoes by themselves are okay, but when you dip them in this sauce right here, it makes it work. Mm -hmm. Hand cut potatoes. Nice and crunchy. Crunchy on the outside, excuse me. Crunchy on the outside, but really soft. It's kind of soft on the inside, so you can tell that they're done. All right, moving on. This is biscuit and gravy. Look, they got square biscuits. That's interesting. I wonder why the gravy's not on top. The gravy is not on top. Like it's, to me, I think the gravy should be on top of the biscuit. All right, let's take that off. Big chunk of gravy in there. It smells good. Let's try a biscuit by itself. Top's a little flowery. I can tell that. But it's not too dry. It's not too crumbly. Let's try it with the sausage and gravy. Ooh, that sausage is good. Big piece of sausage right there. Mm. This is good. This tastes like it's made from scratch. Me, personally, I would have liked a little bit more gravy because that whole top part the whole top part of the biscuit, it's not covered in gravy. So, and the, for the biscuit and gravy, the biscuit and gravy was like five bucks. So you would expect to be a little bit more gravy than this. But the meat is good quality. Oh, you can tell that it's good quality sauces. You can taste the pepper. You can taste the the um, sage. It's got crushed red pepper in it. It's not spicy. Not too spicy. It's good. Mm -hmm. right, let's get a drink of uh, the Bobo Chino. I missed. <laughs> All right. And last but not least, to try, I got their 
chicken biscuit. They have a chicken biscuit, just a regular chicken biscuit. And lo and behold, it comes on a square biscuit. Nice. And there's butter. You can see there, there's butter on it. And it has a little, you know, breakfast filet. Chicken's a little bit, like the breading is coming off a little bit. You can see right there. Breading's coming off a little bit. But the biscuit feels, you know, soft. Yeah, soft. Where's the seasoning? It, 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 it tastes a little bland to me. Um, I don't know. It just tastes like chicken. It doesn't taste like, you know, like, let me try putting this, some of the sauce on it. Maybe that'll... There's spice. Where's the spice? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that that sauce. This sauce is awesome. If you like horseradish, put that right there. Oh yeah. If you like horseradish base sauces, you're gonna love that sauce. So, all right. Bobo's Fine Chicken. I tried the chicken biscuit, the cheese grits, the sausage and gravy with biscuit, and the breakfast fries. And the uh, Bobo Chino. All right. So the breakfast fries were good. The potatoes were hand cut. I could tell they were hand cut. They were. It looked like if it looked like they were battered in the like a like a chicken batter base, uh, like tempura style, which is fine. But they need salt. Need some kind of seasoning to make it pop. Um, the cheese grits. Why was there cheese? Why was there grit? Uh, grit skin. Some type of skin in the grits. It's not being stirred properly, you know what I'm saying? And there's lumps. You can't have lumps and grits, man. You can't have lumps and grits. You, uh, you just can't. Um, biscuit and gravy, good. The biscuit and gravy was good. The good quality sausage. Um, you can taste the seasonings. Would have liked more gravy because that whole top part of the biscuit was not covered in gravy. So, and chicken biscuit. Chicken biscuit. Um, chicken was a decent size, but it lacked that spice. It lacked um, that pop because it was it was just kind of bland, unfortunately. Um, I had high hopes for that chicken biscuit, um, but it, it, it let me down. So... Um, and the Bobacino. Bobacino, it's okay. It's all right. I mean, it's not It's not going to wow anyone. I mean, it's there. It's there, but it's not really a wow. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, on a scale of one to six, I'm going to give Bobo's Fine Chicken... A 
three out of six. It's okay. It needs a bit more spice. It needs something to make it pop uh, for breakfast anyway. Um, the cheese grits, they let me down. They weren't smooth. They weren't creamy. Um, the chicken biscuit was just a lacked a bit of flavor the sausage and gravy would have liked more gravy on the biscuit um but the i think the one real and then the and then the breakfast fries needed a bit more salt like a sprinkle of salt just to accent the the batter on the um on the potato um but the bobochino is just fine so if you like this video give me a thumbs up like share and subscribe to help support my channel um and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye then.